Hello friends. Today I have another junk journal for you. Check out the tassel that I made to go on the end. It's removable with one of these clippy dealies here. Okay, here's the top. Has some pretty things poking out. I might trim this a little bit. That's a little long now that I look at it. And it's tied together with a cute little bow. A steak beak. All right. So here's our first page. It has a little tuck here with a envelope for you to tuck things into. A little bit of journaling space there. Some pretty ribbon trim and a little door that opens up maybe for uh, this book belongs to or something like that. Paper doily. A couple pockets here with some sewn scrap ribbon going down the side. Some more of this fun paper. Here's just a little embellishment. Here's a cute little birdie that I had made when I was just collaging some of my scrap papers together. And in this pocket is a little notebook. Just checks right in there. Little image here. Some embellishments up there, some stamping and some inking, stenciling going around. Some more sewn ribbon. This one I tea stain dyed to give it a little bit of an older look. This is the back side of an envelope, which inside here is um, just a little page that I found and show, tells you how to make bows, which I find really, really fun. I think you'll probably like it too. But here, this opens up as well. And up at the top, there's a pocket to put wishes. Another little notebook here that opens up for more writing space behind it. Some little embellishments here, pop, uh, altered paper clip up top. Here's just an embellishment, just a couple tags tucked into this pocket and this cute little notebook. Is there anything in there? Nope, not yet. Just slide that right back on. Another cute collage that my cousin had made. She just sent me another great big box of really awesome things to use in junk journals and I cannot wait to start digging in there and using some of those pieces. Here's a page to put a photo. I tucked a little feather. Remember my feather that was bugging me for my last video? There, I glued it down now. It's yours. The other side of that doily pocket here. Here's a book page with a pretty little embellishment glued on it. On the other side is a pocket with a journaling space, some nice cardstock scrap of paper. Little trim on the side. I like to put all my trims with a small embellishment of some sort. It's a nice big card. It's kind of metallic gold, as you can see. A few tags behind there. Oh, little mushroom. green ribbon going down the sides, coordinate the colors somehow. Here's a breast page for you to de decorate. More journaling space, cute little flower here. Just a journaling tag in here. This opens up as well. It's held together with an altered paper clip, which of course can be removed. Here's another journal card. Some old music paper. And this opens up this way. And there's a pocket here. And this is a little notebook here. And just a little old magazine cutout that I found that I thought you might like. All the way from Texas. It was like from a gold mining book of some sort. There's lots of cool images in there. If you can find some old catalogs or magazines, you can really find some cool images to clip out. 
this is kind of a cool canvasy type material. And I topped it off with a flower from the dollar store. Here, I'm just gonna show you. This is the pack that I got. And this is the particular flower. And I just ripped the, the layers apart and just kind of flipped the petals out so that it fit the page better. Here, um, see, this was the top layer of that flower. I, I plucked that off and added my own center. That way I flattened it out more. And now I have three flowers per one flower. Cool, huh? All right, here we go. All right, so we have, this is a Tim Holtz um, strip. I'm not really sure what it's called, photo strip, whatever. And then there's just a couple tags tucked in here. This is fussy cut from some scrapbook paper. This is an image that I liked from a magazine. Stuck it back in there. Image from a book that's backed on some fibery paper that I really, really like. And some more almost like grocery bag paper, but it's a little bit thinner than that. I just really like the texture and the feel of it. Some ribbon collaging going down this side here. Some more ribbons just going down the side of this uh, book page. A couple of journaling spots with some lace here that I found that was really pretty. Some more stitching going around the edges to bring it all together. Here I made a belly band out of two strips of ribbon and then I have this gold trim. I think that was really pretty. Actually, you know, I really didn't have a plan for this page. I just started cutting things up and this is what I got. Here's a journaling card. This was from mm, thread or some sort of, oh, <laughs> seam binding. <laughs> glued that on there too. It was the perfect color. It was the perfect color I was looking for, so why not? <laughs> Here is some of that fun paper, and I just put in some gold staples just to um, experiment a little bit, just to see what it looked like. I suppose, you know, what I'm going to do in the future is maybe make little tassels poking out or something and staple them on there, and then wouldn't that be cute poking out the middle of your book? See, just winging it with my ideas, kind of. This flips open. More journaling space behind. Held on with an altered paper clip. You can close this door. And you have little tags here. Aren't they cute? Doesn't that look pretty? So pretty. Okay, some stenciling. Some more ribbon and an image. Here's these two hanging out. It's just an envelope that you can add your own things to. Did I anything in it? Probably not. I didn't in the other one. Nope, nothing in there. There we go. Oh, this is a pocket. Sometimes I forget what I've done. I surprise myself. There's a pocket there. See what I mean, Jelly Bean? Oh, and you can hide all kinds of stuff in there, huh? It's more of that fun paper. Another best page where you can do what you would like, glue whatever you want, maybe some pictures or magazine things, things that you clip out. And here's the very back page, another pocket. We have some lace here with journal. Another pocket with some journaling spots. Another place for a photo. Well, that was fun. That was that is a really nice journal, if I do say so myself. This journal will be available through the holidays at Vintage and Vogue in Detroit Lakes. Run on down there and get it. If it's not there anymore, you're sure to find other really cool stuff to look at. But thank you so much for watching my video and tuning in. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!